Today on CCX News, ready to race. For the first time in more than two decades, the biggest event in cross-country skiing is coming to the United States, and it's happening later this week in Golden Valley. More than 30,000 spectators and nearly 200 skiers from all over the world will descend upon Theodore Worth Park this weekend for the Cross Country World Cup. As Delane Cleveland explains, while the weather hasn't cooperated this winter, the show will go on. Every sport has its championship event. This is the Super Bowl of skiing. It is. And for the world's most elite cross country skiers, the trails at Theodore Worth Park will soon become hallowed ground. Oh, it is so thrilling to welcome the world to Worth. You know, it's Jesse Diggins, who is our hometown hero, and the entire U.S. ski team is expressed their enthusiasm and excitement for finally getting to ski in front of their hometown crowd. Crews were busy Tuesday morning preparing the course for the weekend's events, which includes a sprint on Saturday, a 10K on Sunday, and tens of thousands of spectators. There is not a bad seat in the house. This venue was supposed to be the site of the World Cup in March of 2020, but the COVID pandemic hit the week of the event and forced the organizers to cancel it. So after the heartbreak of that cancellation, we put in another bid, this time for February, because we thought for sure February would be a safe bet in Minnesota. Instead, Mother Nature decided to make this one of the warmest and least snowiest winters on record. As a result, every speck of snow on this course is man-made. You know, our crew just pulled off a miracle. They were incredible. They worked around the clock when it was cold. They're working around the clock now to preserve what we have. So we are really proud of our efforts to be able to have a ski trail. A ski trail that will soon host 180 athletes from 21 countries, all trying to win their own version of the Super Bowl. If you were hoping to make it out to this event, Sorry, but the tickets are already sold out. But for a spectator guide, along with information on watch parties, you can find all of that at lopitcup.com. At Theodore Worth Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The Brooklyn Center City Council honored a veteran this week ahead of his landmark birthday. Brooklyn Center resident Don Halverson turns 101 years old on February 24th. The Brooklyn Center City Council declared this past Monday Don Halverson Day to celebrate his birthday and commemorate his military service. Halverson is a World War II vet. He served in Italy with the 34th Infantry Red Bull Division from 1943 to 1945. He settled in Brooklyn Center after the war and has lived there for more than 64 years. The National World War II Museum says less than 1% of veterans from the war are still alive today. A new Broadway pizza is moving into Maple Grove. This location has a feature that helps it stand out from other Twin Cities locations. The Maple Grove City Council recently approved a liquor license for the venue, which will be located on Main Street in the former Max's on Main Spot. This Broadway pizza will have a section for axe throwing, an increasingly popular form of entertainment. The owner says he expects to open soon, possibly by late March or early April. A fun opportunity to get younger kids plugged into STEAM programming is available in Plymouth. I took a look at Snapology for younger kids. Today, we get to learn. With littler learners, it can be best to go with the flow. A branch, some wood. Oh, what place, what place has those things? It's, it's the forest. It's a good chance for them to explore with their hands, for them to get some sensory skills going. What do you feel? What do you touch? What do you see? Like, how would you build something? Oh, there's these. Benjamin Vogel is teaching kindergarten age kids all about wild animals at Snapology. So what do you have here? What's different? What do you notice? So a little bit of building, a little bit of art, a little bit of learning. The huge furry paws. By exploring animals, they're learning STEAM basics. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Racing through the night with its pack. They move from animals to blocks. We have lots of materials that you can use to build an animal home. Here, they're building a habitat for those animals. Vogel says this helps them think critically. When it kind of strikes up that independence, but also gives them a lot of creative spirit to be able to, you know, kind of think about what they want to do. It reveals huge footprints at the edge of a lake. Little Gators is a new offering at Snapology. This is mom Lisa Hegman's first time bringing her two sons, Anders and Beck. They love animals and love 
Duplos and exploring and stuff. So it, they've been thoroughly engaged this entire time and really enjoyed it. I'm taller than it. You're taller than it? I think it's the future of the world and of where they're going to go. And as little boys, they love science already. For now, the future is hard at work in play. Snapology is located inside Urban Air Adventure Park in Plymouth. The Little Gators classes are held every Tuesday morning at 10, and this month they come with an hour of jump time in Urban Air. A Twin Cities-based hip-hop artist was at North Hennepin Community College this week talking black history. We influenced the, the music, we influenced the fashion, we influenced the food, we influenced um, the fight. People know how to, how to fight for their rights because of the blueprint that we put out there. Carnage the Executioner, also known as Terrell X, has shared stages with world famous acts such as Cypress Hill and Ludacris. He spent more than 30 years recording and performing music. And when he's not making his own music, he's teaching children and adults how to beatbox. He gave North Hennepin students a lesson on Tuesday. He says it's a way to help people find their voice and express themselves in new ways. I want them to come out with their own unique voice, their own, um, um, their own inspiration to do what it is that feels good to them as a person. Carnage the Executioner builds his music on the fly, performing as a one-man band. We'll leave you with one of his performances. Thunderous loud as though my powers come from the clouds. Brother has vowed that if you stay caught, don't slaughter. Put me for your show with smelly competition, but I guarantee your performance ain't bending my position because those in attendance are going to think I walk on walk. They always give me respect. Well, brothers are not the like about C3 XL. Your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. Hardest working artist earning money with no deal. Your life like take of the show stealer. Yeah. Jim being better than me, what I do when I but watch out, carnage is all about spot snatching. Yeah. Get the stage after me, you won't even get a cheer. Uh -uh. Get the stage before me and they'll forget you were ever here.